the United States has once again announced plans to impose additional sanctions on Iran, this time targeting the country's acquisition of the S-400 air defense system from Russia. However, the critical question is whether these sanctions will have any real impact on Iran's strategic calculus. The evidence suggests that Iran is unlikely to be deterred or cowed by the threat of sanctions. In fact, it has defiantly issued a warning to Arab nations, cautioning them against supporting Israel, while making it clear that it is ready to challenge its adversaries. This is a testament to the profound shift in the geopolitical landscape of the Middle East, where a rising Iran, emboldened by its deepening alliance with Russia, is now posing a direct challenge to the long-standing U.S. and Israeli hegemony in the region. For decades, the United States has enjoyed dominance in the Middle East, primarily through its unwavering support for Israel and its ability to bully other countries in the region into submission, whether through sanctions, military interventions, or covert operations. However, the times are changing, and Iran, a nation that has stood strong despite relentless Western pressure, is now forging an even closer partnership with Russia, a move that threatens to reshape the entire geopolitical dynamics of the region. This new Iran-Russia alliance is not just about the acquisition of military hardware, such as the S-400 system. It is a strategic partnership that signals to the world that the days of U.S. and Israeli dominance are coming to an end. The question is not whether the U.S. and Israel will fall from their perch, but rather how quickly this collapse will occur. Iran's latest move, acquiring the S-400 air defense system from Russia, has triggered a series of reactions from Washington and Tel Aviv. However, it is essential to recognize that this is not about peace or security. It is about power, and the United States is losing its grip on the region. The message is clear. Tehran is done playing by the rules set by the West, and it is leading the charge against a system of oppression that has dominated the Middle East for far too long. But was the threat of sanctions from the U.S. even serious? Every time Iran makes a move to defend itself or strengthen its alliances, the U.S. responds with sanctions. This begs the question, why does the U.S. cling so desperately to this outdated tool, especially when history has shown that sanctions rarely achieve their intended goals? The answer lies in the U.S.'s desperation to maintain the illusion of control. Since the 1979 Iranian Revolution, the U.S. has treated Iran as a pariah state, subjecting it to a barrage of sanctions in an attempt to isolate the nation economically and politically. Yet, here we are, over four decades later, and Iran not only survives, but thrives. The country has built a robust internal economy, developed its military industry, and formed alliances with powerful nations like Russia and China. Every time the U.S. tightens its grip, Iran finds a way to slip through its fingers. The latest sanctions announced by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, targeting Iranian and Russian entities involved in military cooperation, are the latest attempt to strangle Iran's access to military technology and limit its ability to defend itself. But let's be honest, sanctions haven't worked for the last 40 years, so why would they work now? Iran has grown accustomed to life under the weight of sanctions and its partnership with Russia provides an alternative path to the military and economic support it needs to weather the storm. Far from being a show of strength, these sanctions are a sign of desperation on the part of the United States, a last-ditch effort to maintain its grip on the Middle East. The reality is that the U.S. is rapidly losing its influence in the region, and sanctions have become the only tool left in its kit. It's like watching a bully who has been outmatched but continues to throw punches long after the fight is lost. Washington is still clinging to the old playbook, but the world has moved on, and Iran and Russia are rewriting the rules, leaving the U.S. struggling to keep up. The Iran-Russia alliance is causing sleepless nights in Washington and Tel Aviv, and for good reason. By forging this alliance, Iran and Russia are demonstrating that they no longer need the approval or support of the United States or its allies to achieve their strategic objectives. They are charting a new course, one that challenges the long-standing power structures in the region and threatens to reshape the geopolitical landscape. This shift in the balance of power is particularly concerning for Israel, which has long enjoyed the unwavering support of the United States. With Iran and Russia standing together, Israel's ability to act with impunity in the region is severely curtailed, and its position as the dominant regional power is under threat. 
The U.S., for its part, is scrambling to regain its footing, but its options are limited. Sanctions have proven to be a blunt instrument, unable to effectively counter the growing influence of Iran and Russia. And with the American public increasingly weary of foreign interventions, the political will for more aggressive actions is waning. Iran and Russia are leading the charge, demonstrating that nations can resist the forces of imperialism and forge their own path to success. The U.S. and its allies may continue to throw punches, but the fight is theirs to lose. Historically, Russia and Iran have shared mutual interests, particularly when it comes to resisting U.S. influence in the region. But this partnership is now evolving into something much deeper. For Russia, Iran represents a key ally in its broader geopolitical strategy to counterbalance NATO and U.S. influence. This is precisely why the U.S. and Israel are so deeply concerned. They want Iran and Russia to follow their orders on how to navigate the region's political landscape, particularly when it comes to Israel. However, the two nations have made it clear that they will not be cowed by threats of sanctions or other forms of pressure. It is a moral stand against a system that has long allowed Israel to oppress the Palestinian people with little more than lip service from its neighbors. By taking this bold stance, Iran is challenging the established order in the Middle East, which has historically been dominated by the U.S. and Israel. It is no longer willing to tolerate the hypocrisy of Arab states that pay lip service to the Palestinian cause while secretly aligning themselves with the very forces that are oppressing them. This blatant hypocrisy has long been a source of frustration for Iran, which has now made it clear that it will no longer tolerate such double standards where Arab states have been able to maintain the facade of solidarity with the Palestinians while actively undermining their struggle. The Western narrative, as it often does, attempts to portray Iran as the aggressor in this situation. However, it is crucial to recognize the facts on the ground. Israel has been committing egregious atrocities against the Palestinian people for decades, from illegal settlements to brutal military occupations. Yet, whenever Iran steps up to defend its allies like Hezbollah, it is labeled the aggressor, while Israel's crimes go largely unpunished. Iran's missile strikes on Israel were not acts of aggression, but rather acts of defense. Iran is not simply protecting its own interests. It is standing up for the countless oppressed Arabs who have suffered under Israel's apartheid-like policies. This is a bold and principled stance, one that challenges the long-standing power dynamics in the region and threatens to reshape the geopolitical landscape. As the balance of power in the Middle East continues to shift, Iran's unwavering stance on the Palestinian issue may prove to be a crucial factor in its broader strategic calculus. By positioning itself as the champion of justice and the rights of the oppressed, Iran is not only solidifying its regional influence, but also challenging the very foundations of the Western-backed order that has dominated the region for so long. The Iran-Russia alliance is about more than just politics, it's a stand for justice, and Iran is firmly on the right side of history. By warning Arab nations against supporting Israel, Iran is challenging a system that has long allowed the oppression of Palestinians to continue with little consequence. While Arab nations have historically paid lip service to the Palestinian cause while quietly cozying up to Israel, Iran is now drawing a clear line in the sand. It is making it known that there will be severe consequences for any Arab state that chooses to side with the oppressor rather than stand up for the rights of the oppressed. This moral stance by Iran is in stark contrast to the often shifting and confusing position of the United States. Recently, Arab nations have assured their neutrality in the conflict, but the U.S.'s stance remains unclear. President Biden has cautioned against Israel attacking Iran, while former President Trump has called for a more aggressive approach. This stark divide within the U.S. government suggests that the country is unlikely to adopt a coherent long-term strategy when it comes to Iran. Instead, we are likely to see a continued mix of sanctions and diplomatic efforts, with no clear end goal in sight. As Biden attempts to re-engage Iran diplomatically, the Republican hardliners will undoubtedly push for a more confrontational approach. Meanwhile, Israel will continue to press the U.S. for support in its ongoing conflict with Iran, but Biden's reluctance to endorse a direct strike on Iran indicates that Washington may no longer be willing to give Israel free reign. However, the specter of a Trump-like leader returning to power looms large, and such a scenario could see the U.S. swing back towards a more aggressive stance.
potentially escalating tensions in the region. In the end, the balance of power in the Middle East is shifting, and the U.S. and Israel's dominance is coming to an end. Iran, partnered with Russia, is leading the charge towards a new order, one where Western approval is no longer a prerequisite for success. The world is changing, and the U.S. is struggling to keep up, left with the diminishing options of sanctions and military posturing. So, what does the future hold for the Middle East? Iran and Russia's alliance is the beginning of a new era, one where Western approval is no longer needed. Sanctions, threats, and military posturing won't stop this shift. The world is changing, and Iran is at the forefront of that change. Do you think Iran will be scared of the U.S. threat? Does the U.S. even mean it when it tries to scare nations with sanctions? And will Arab nations take Iran's warning seriously? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The balance of power in the Middle East is shifting, and the U.S. and Israel are no longer the undisputed masters of the region. Thanks for watching till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.